What is good YouTube is Mr. Joe Bright here and today in this video I got my top 15 tweaks for 2013. Now this is part one, I have different parts throughout this year that um, once I find different tweaks I like I will do videos on them or some of them from this video may be in the next video, part two. It's just what I've been using and what I have on my device. So I have a list on my iPod, you guys can see right here, I have a list of my notes app of what tweaks um, I will be showing you guys. So let's jump right into it. Um, so the first one we got is called fake email, and I, the first um, the first ones will most likely be like in these applications because they're all together. But the first one's called fake email. It is in C right here. You can separate your name, the fake name, fake email address, the real email address, the subject, and the message. So when I snap, all this is going to be all this is going to be done. So right now. Alright, so he doesn't see I fill it out like that, like nothing. He doesn't see here it says test. Um the fake email it's gonna like with the contact them back will be testyt at yahoo.net. Of course you know it's yahoo.com. Um we'll be sending it to my email address, the subject yes, and I just put a random um uh text or the quote or I don't know, whatever the hell that is. Which I put that. And you, know, you guys just click send it and then send whoever you put it to send to a fake um, contact or email and you can just mess with their friends. So that was the first one, it's called fake email. Alright, so the next tweak we got is called Music Box. It's right here. And this one um, is a little bit buggy. Um, I'll show you guys it right here in a second. Basically this just allows you to download free music or um, albums. Um, as you can see here, we'll down this one, Vampire Week, no, we'll go to Charts, I don't know what the hell that is. We'll go to Last Week, and basically this just allows you to download um, free songs. So if I just click this one in here, Blurred Lines, I can, it'll then search it real quick. The hell server is busy, let's go again. Can't hold us. Alright, hold up. My bad, you guys, I am so sorry, but basically... It's because maybe it's late at night. It's not even that late either. But this just allows you to get um, download free songs. And if you search of an artist, or you type in the album name, it'll allow you to get that full album. And then you guys will go into your music, my music library. You guys can then play it. Sorry about the inconvenience of it not working, but that is called music box. The next tweak, tweak we got is called respring. Of course, you guys got to know what that is. It's right there. And this just allows you to respring your device real quick. Um, you guys just click it open up like a little application and then you guys see it re respring my device and that's really it for that tweak it just uh, respring your device real quick I'll wait for my device to boot up real quick <laughs> why is it taking so long oh there you guys go it respring my device so that was respring alright if I didn't say it already guys all the sources, if there's any sources required, will be down in the description below, so don't trip about that. But the next one we got is called Live Papers. I did this in one of my, um, I did this in my How to Get iOS 7 Features on Non-Supported Devices video, alright? So, so cancel that. So basically, I'm just going to show you guys this one. This just allows you to get live wallpapers. So that's what your wallpaper will be, so we'll set it for a lock screen and home screen. As you can now see, there it is. It's live, it's current, it's moving around. Go to my lock screen. Oh, you guys can't. Why is not it come up? Probably because I have jelly lock enabled, but once again, sorry for the inconvenience. But that's basically what it does right there, and it's a good thing to make your device look like it's on iOS 7. Okay, so next we got this tweet called Barrel, which you guys can see every time I move my uh, page, it has this different animation. So this, so this one's called Curl and Roll Away, and this is the one, um, by default, you will get, you guys can see right there. Um, if you guys have, don't even know about this tweak, I don't know where you guys have been, but this one's called Barrel. This one is purchased, I forget how much, um, but it will be in a uh, community source. So they do have some stuff in the settings, so let's go head over to settings. You guys can see right here, Barrel, and you can ch uh, choose different ones. So I'll just do random so you guys can see which ones you have. See those are different every time I swipe my page. See that? That's called barrel. It's pretty cool as animation onto when you are sliding your pages. 
Alright, so next we got Color Keyboard. This is also another purchase tweak. I think it's $2.99. I can't even exactly remember, but I got a theme on right now. And this one's called uh, the WPS, no, WP7CK, which is uh, Windows Phone 7 Color Keyboard. So you can, I'm not going to go into the settings and show you guys the whole setting because there's a ton of them. I don't have time for that. I'm just going to give you a gist of it. So you can see it looks like Windows Phone 7. You can see that every time I click on it, you can set up the exact color pop up. I'm sorry, my dog was messing around. The color pop up where you can mess, uh, change um, the whole different color. You can, you can have a background in this, in the uh, pop ups be transparent. You guys can set it up to whatever way you want to customize it. It'll look really well with the theme. If you guys do have a theme, you guys know I'm into themes. Um, but that one is called Color Keyboard. And if you guys do want to download that um, the specific theme, it's uh, WP7. White line. That's what it's called, or something like that. Just look it up in City, you'll find it. But that's color keyboard. All right. So next up for um, number seven, we got NC Enough. This just uh, kind of limits of how much you show your notification center. It kind of depends on if you have notifications. So I don't have any notifications. I just have the two widgets, the stock and the um, weather widget, um, the default one. So you guys can see it won't show anymore. But that's just what. I do have um, so if I would have more if I had like two, one or two notifications would be down here if I had none it would be up here like it is so I, I like this I think Apple shouldn't integrate this into iOS 7 if they haven't already I don't think they have um, but I think that I, this is um, number 7 it's called NC enough alright so coming in at number 8 it's called unlock FX and this one's pretty cool too I'm just going to show you guys one theme and I'll go into settings. You can see when I uh, unlock my device, you guys can see how it kind of fades and then unlocks. Um, and that's basically what it does. You guys just have different effects when unlocking your device. If you guys do hear stuff in the background, my bad, it's my dog. If you guys go to animation, you guys can choose one, so I'll just choose this one. Just for an example. You guys can see, there you go. You guys get a, um, the idea of what unlock FX does. That one is also... Um, uh, you guys also have to purchase that one, but that was number eight, unlock effects. Next, we got Winterboard. I'm not really gonna go into detail or into depth with this one. You guys should know what this one does. It's been out for so long. Um, this just allows you to theme your device when you guys download themes. It comes with that um, icon there. Uh, if you guys haven't seen it in my theme videos, go check them out on my channel. I've done a couple already. I think three or four, maybe. I think so. And that I just did one today. Today or yesterday? I'm pretty sure it was today. Can't remember. But um, that one, number nine is Winterboard. Go check that one out. It's free. Next, we got uh, Zephyr. This is just basically multitasking gestures on the iPod Touch. You guys can see when I swipe up, that will close the application. Then when I sw hold it, like so, I'll bring up my multitasking tray. If I pull down, oh, it's not enabled. If I enable it, there we go. So if I pull down, it'll pull down the whole screen that was on. Alright, so next we got this tweet called Zeppelin. This just allows you to um, place different icons or carriers up in your, um, or place it. That's basically, you can put pictures. They do come with a few default, which I stick with the Batman one or the Nike one. So here they have the Nike one. You guys see no respringing. Um, you don't have to do no respringing, and it just automatically changes it. And that one's cool. It's free, and they have a tons and tons of different packages. Um, to put in there, so you got like um, Android logos, and just a bunch of different stuff. Um, but that one is called Zeppelin, and that was number eleven. Coming in at number twelve is Jelly Lock. This one does no, this one's free. It's called Jelly Lock Jelly Lock Beta, and you guys can see if I just hold on to it, I can either lock my device or I can go to my camera. Um, you guys can also set it up so you guys have something up here. I just don't have anything. Um, I think you can have Siri up there, something like that. But I just unlock it, and that it's just an Android. It's like Android. Um, jelly bean or something like that, but that one is Jelly Lock. It's free, um, and and it's in the city. Eh? Okay, so number so for number thirteen, we got this tweet called No Camera Grabber. You guys can see I don't have the camera uh, thing where you pull up. It's not there. I can't pull it. I like this a lot though. It's a normal slide to unlock. Nothing too crazy. And I actually did have to disable Jelly Lock in order to. Um, Show you guys that, but I like this a lot. I'm, I mean, we're gonna stick with that. I'm download that as much as long as I can because I don't really like the camera grabber. I'm not a fan of it. Coming in at number 14, we're almost done, but coming in at number 14, we have 
uh, notification center tweak, and it's called NC Music. So basically, I'm not going to play anything because um, I don't have any music and I don't want to deal with copyright. You guys can see we have a little play button and we have a little next button. So you just click play, automatically start either shuffle or uh, start off where you're at, or just straight up play it. And you can hit next if you don't if you don't want to hear that song. You just want to go to the next song. But that one's called NC Music, and that one's actually free. And the final tweak we got is a tweak that I've actually did a video on when I first started using this channel or doing videos on this channel, and that was uh, multi-story. You guys can see when I uh, double-click my uh, home button, you can see I have my music uh, multitasking tray. You guys can see we have a double story, I have multiple stories. Uh, I can swipe over. If I want to delete some, I can delete them, and let's hop right over from that previous page. Um, I like this a lot too. I'm probably gonna stick with this. So yeah, you just have one big page. It's sweet, easy. You guys can see if we swipe over one more, we don't have to swipe over twice. We have this integrated together. Um, but I'm gonna stick with this for a while too. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was Mr. Jailbreaks. Um, these are my top 15 tweaks um, for currently. This is part one. Like I said, I, I will have multiple parts. Uh, part two, three, and maybe even four. Um, these will go all through this year, and then next year, 2014, which sounds like it's a long time. I will be. I will basically, I'll just be continuing to do this series. So if you guys enjoy this video, please be sure to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe up top and comment down below for comment questions or suggestions. And please be sure to give the video a thumbs up. I know I already said it, but it helps out a ton. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.